when you wake up and then hit the snooze button, go back to sleep, it feels good because serotonin gets released and it feels nice to fall back to sleep. The problem though is that when you wake up 15 minutes later or 10 minutes later, your brain is essentially confused. I'm Dr. Daniel Barone, a neurologist at New York Presbyterian Hospital and assistant professor of neurology at Weill Cornell Medical College. Waking up before the alarm can be a sign that you're actually getting enough sleep and the body is preparing itself for the day. Sometimes waking up hours before the alarm, that can be associated with things like depression. People who, are, who have clinical depression, they sometimes wake up earlier in the morning than they, than they like to. So a lot of times people will snooze when they wake up. They'll, they'll say, okay, I'm gonna set my alarm for seven o'clock and then I'm gonna snooze to 7.30. Many people do that. Uh, the, the problem with that though is that waking up and falling asleep is not like an on-off switch. It's not we fall asleep immediately and then we wake up immediately. The process of falling asleep and waking up is a, it, it's a process. It can take a couple of hours in some cases for the brain to neurochemically prepare itself to wake up. It's not, it's not bad for you, but it just, you know, it screws your brain up a little bit. It's, you may experience it yourself. You know, you may feel like, oh God, I'm, I'm still out of it or, or I feel worse than I did before. Is it, should, should I be asleep or should I be awake? Uh, you know, this is not, not really what I, what I plan to do. So what I always recommend to people is just set the alarm for the latest you can wake up and just have it, that be the one time you wake up.